good morning everybody um, uh, I'm gonna well not try out I've been playing on this uh, let's see do I have a uh, yes here we go yeah, I've been playing with the Neofly here. Uh, it's a great little program. He just released this uh, 1.3 update, which has uh, given us a hanger. I noticed I, I swapped mine to the X Cub. Uh, you start out with the uh, G, G1000 Cessna. And uh, I, I just looked at his files, and, and the X Cub is the same price on his stat page or whatever so I just swapped to that I don't uh, the Cessna is all right but I have the uh, the steam gauge version so I don't really care for the uh, uh, wait a minute that's reading wrong let me let me start this I think I have a uh, something going on here did it come back No, it didn't. Let me fix this. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm still first off. Is it? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I, I've changed that from the previous version and I changed it back when I think they did something, which is cool. Alright, uh, let's get loaded in. I'm, I'm using that ship, and I'll go ahead and build my rear tank. I have a custom ship from Bush League Legends. Anybody uh, hasn't checked them out, you need to check them out. The uh, custom uh, performance plus, they call it, for the... Uh, X Cup is a great little mod. Really, really makes uh, a lot of difference. They're also doing a lot of stuff. Uh, gate parking. I need ramp parking, don't I? Ramp. I guess that is ramp. It's showing gate there. Usually I look for a mint for a yeah it's showing gate and then ramp I d I don't understand that I don't know if they've just changed that or if I had never I had never noticed that before but I didn't really remember it saying uh, gate okay. okay I'm playing with AI off just with the I've had some uh, issue with the uh, with crashes lately, so it's one of the fixes I haven't undone yet. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll go over here and we'll go ahead and search for our uh, missions. Now I started out over here in the Bahamas and got over here and I kind of got stuck on this coast. There's so many airports right in here that I, I wasn't getting any distance out of, I, I mean I couldn't get anything over about 30 nautical miles and I had to kind of work my way over and across to get any uh, decent distances. So let's see if we got... Uh, and then I, I fly, uh, like I said, I'm trying to go in a specific direction, in this case north, so I'm looking at the furthest ones. Uh-oh. PGIF. I'll add one there.
A regular cargo mission sounds fun to start with because it doesn't require anything fancy. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and start this one. Uh, Excub is correct. Shows, I guess the blue, yeah. It changed it a little bit. Now, now it's the blue one. That's cool. Uh, parking brakes on. Everything looks good. Let me get rid of this uh, banner here. Y'all probably don't don't care that much about seeing this uh, program. I guess I can leave it on until after it tells me to go, just so you see how it works. Uh, but basically, I'm just going to fire this thing up. Oh, let's uh, start over here. We're ready. Engine. Why didn't I get anything here? Am I at the right place? Did I load in? I thought, yeah, everything's there. Why am I not getting the payload? How come every time I try to do this, it doesn't work? I should have got it as soon as I cranked the engine. I'm at the right spot, right? ASEF. Shows me at the airport. Huh. Okay. Oh, I know why it's not working. My bad. I don't have enough payload for them. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there was something going on there. Let's see, I can get rid of this. Uh, get rid of that window now. And we're going to KGIF. That's the part I haven't set up yet. This is one of the mods here, this wind button and KGI, when I have that's it. Activate. Now we have an actual route plan showing us where we need to go. Just setting a direct to. Alright, let me 
find it on uh, I don't have this one on the uh, thing so here's here's this one I use this oh, this one actually get the the neo flag gives you a map but this one I kind of use in lieu of using charts or anything it just shows you where you're at and what runways gives you the wind and everything so you can uh, you know take off from the right runway Anyway, it looks like we're going to try runway 14. i got to get to it. Going to have a good bit of crosswind and weather here. Florida is getting pounded. Oh. Take off and parking brake now. I don't know how my performance is with everything. Looks pretty good. I've got a lot of extra stuff running in the background here. I don't see how to get it. There we go. How do you get out of the parking lot? Yeah, as a matter of fact, this, uh, this is a, uh, uh, reskin paint job whatever from from the bush league legends guys they they are legends they're my heroes for the uh stuff they're doing on the on the gauges i'm i'm not super i'd rather have uh the steam gauges but if you're going to have the glass cockpit then it's nice to have it all working and i do love that they're uh doing so much to get it get it working all all the features going they're doing an excellent job on that and one of one of my things that I have, have yet liked about about the glass cockpits is is this G3X you can't uh, swap nav channels so you basically you you have no means to use uh ILS or VOR. And I just hate that. So hopefully that's one of the features that they'll be uh, introducing. I don't think I I suggested it and and uh Chaosopher uh you know did respond. He's definitely looking into it, so let's hope he gets it going. All right. I'm not bothering with the ATC today. Yeah, good bit of rudder there, about half rudder. Damn, hard to hold. Come on, baby. Get off the ground. Get off the ground where that's not a problem. Now you can fly cricket all you want. All right, which way are we heading? I didn't open up my... Uh, As soon as she gets to where she won't sink. Come on, speed up. There we go. Pop this out so I can read it. All right. So obviously we need to turn around. I did this the other day. I made a quick turn around and it was one of the VIP missions. And you can't do more than 45. It was funny. The, one of the sound effects was really cool. I forgot I, you know, had a passenger. I'm so used to doing the cargo that, you know, doing this, a tight turn is no biggie. Cargo box doesn't care, right? Well, the, apparently that VIP didn't like it. They screamed and <laughs> all kinds of unpleasant sounds. <laughs> I thought that was fun. Uh, why am I not trimmed out for flight here? There we go. Obviously, with all the clouds, I'm just going to stay low down. It would be, uh, let's see how far, 42 miles. It would be a uh, I could probably get up above them if I were going further. Like I say, these I, I'm getting depending on how many airports are nearby. 
I mean, in the Bahamas, you know, you, you're at little islands. Well, there's only one or two airports on, say, any given island, and then it would give you longer flights to the next islands. But here in, in the mainland, it, it seems to be populating all the possible mission slots, you know, closer in. Like I said, I kind of got stuck right there on the coast, because right at the coast there from, obviously, from the Bahamas to, you know, the coast of Florida right there against the Bahamas, it's just full of airports. I mean, they're stacked on top of each other. Um, I couldn't get any any route that was more than a few miles long, it seemed like. And I had to slowly work my way out of that congested airport area to get any longer ones. But that's all right. This aircraft is great for uh, short flights like that. I guess I should have, yep, I should have checked my uh, barometer. Cheat and pretend we did that. Actually, even for a short flight, I think I'll go ahead and... Uh, Set it on autopilot. We will uh, no. I say, I kind of, I, I think these, these missions that they, I mean, it's, it's obviously some autogen. Uh, it creates a file and saves them. So once you create it, you either have to delete the file or, or, uh, you know, just accept the missions it's already created. But I, they're, they're great little missions, especially for this little cub. You know, it's a little harder to do some of the. Uh, some of the missions require a, a soft landing, you know, got to gotta have a pretty good smooth landing. It's not the greatest for that one for me. The tail dragger makes it a little bit, a little bit more difficult. I tend to bounce and sometimes that, that would ruin that, I guess. I haven't actually done any of those yet. Originally he had it set for like less than 10 feet. BSI and that just kind of put me off. Then he then he adjusted it. Now it's uh, 200 feet BSI, which I'm sure I can manage to get under that, even with this ship. Maybe not every time. <laughs> Actually, that's you know a good bounce will put you 200 plus. So you know that that's a decent landing without having to grease it per se. So I think that's a fair, fair number. I mean, you know, 10 VSI, that, that's a, that's a magnificent greaser or your fail. So that was just a bit much. Ooh, love the lightning. I, I, I do agree with some others that have suggested maybe they overdid it a little bit, <laughs> but, uh, that's common. I see that in a lot of early access games. Anytime a new feature comes in, it's like heavy handed. They always throw it way, you know, <laughs> throw it in there way, way heavy at first because they want everybody to notice it. <laughs> Here you go. You've been asking for this feature. See, it's in. <laughs> now, now tune it back to where it's more realistic. <laughs> And here it is, actually. I mean, I am actually flying in a in a stormy area right now. But I've heard—I haven't noticed it—but I've heard that uh, 
people are seeing it in, even on clear weather, which I haven't noticed that, but I have noticed it. It just seems like if there's any clouds or overcast, you'll get storms, you'll get lightning. But on the other hand, I, I mean, the flip side of that is it's in an airplane. You can see lightning for a long way off. So, I don't know. That looks like that looks almost too straight for a natural shoreline there, but I uh, I don't know. It looks like that on the map, though. It looks pretty straight on the map. Livingston Lake, I guess. That's why I like using uh little nav map or, or any good VFR map, you can actually see what you're flying over, you know, names of lakes and cities. In this case, I'm using the uh, Google Maps and little nav map. There's an add-on that adds uh, Google Maps to it. So.
This is Reedy Lake. And Lake something I can't read. Clinch on the left. Lake Clinch. This is Hillcrest Heights would be the city name. I'm not familiar with that city. I actually did live in South Florida as a child, but that was south of Miami, so I'm way north of that. I don't know any of these areas. I don't really know even South Florida. I mean, I have memories of it as a child, but it wasn't like I was driving, so I don't really know uh, geography or anything. Bits and pieces. But I do love this little the the neo fly. It it's it's it gives you a an objective. You know it it's not timed and you know there's no. It, it's kind of. To me, I hope they don't put too many features in it and and kind of ruin it. For me, I I love that it's simple. I mean, you know the FSX passengers and and. Uh, the cargo thing, you know, they're designed for airliners and, and full-on, you know, sim realism, I guess, and they're great, but I, I'm just not into that full-on. I, I just, this is more just for gaming and, and having fun, having an, an objective. It's pretty simple. You load the flight up fly the flight however you want and you know there are a couple of restrictions on some of the missions where you gotta land soft or or camp bank real hard for VIBs things like that and that's cool but it doesn't get to where you you know I'm, I'm not in here you know I don't play the game to basically go to college and, and learn how to do ATC and you know, weight and balance, and you know, I don't want to learn all of that to the to the extent of a real pilot. I just have no point or purpose for that. I'm uh, 58. I'm just not not into learning new, you know, in depth skills. I I want to know enough about it that I can manage, but I don't want to. I'm not trying to be a professional airline pilot. Let's say. Uh, for that matter, I don't really care for the airliners, tube liners, but even with the small ones, I'm not trying to be the professional and you know, a realistic pilot. I'm just having fun, enjoy the game, and this, this program allows me to have a good objective and, and do that without... Uh, without going so in depth that it's a learning process for me so I like that
probably not going to stream real long. We do have a, uh, a Bush League Legends flight tonight. And uh, if anyone sees this, uh, you really should check them out at uh, Twitch TV, Bush League Legends, all one word. Uh, we're currently doing, I say we, I'm just, just a add-on member. I'm not involved with them directly or anything. I just tag along and fly with them. They're a great bunch of guys, great fun. Uh, Mondays and Thursdays, they're doing an around-the-world venture adventure. Anyone's welcome to fly along. Just tune into their uh, Twitch channel and jump in the game with them. Uh, I should get that time. It's it's like I said, it's tonight, six o'clock my time. Uh, CMT. Central CST, Central Standard Time, and uh, you can convert that, see what time it is in your area, and yeah, uh, jump in. That they're they're kind of my main group now. I I fly all of theirs, and I, you know a couple of other people's, but they have some great add-ons, all of which I'm using right now, and. Uh, and a livery's performance update for the Cub. They're, they're primarily a, a carbon Cub, but you don't have to fly the Cub if you want to fly along. It would be advisable to fly something that's similar speed, a 172 or something would work. And we are 10 miles out. Oh, I guess I should mention it if you are going to fly with them. Uh, you know, you'll you'll want to watch their stream so you know what's going on. But find the uh, Discord channel from their stream from the Twitch page. Uh, go to their uh, Discord channel and look at the events channel in their Discord because uh, you're going to want to get the uh, add-on packs. You're going to want to get the at least the uh, uh, livery packs so that you can see all the liveries. That's one of the cool things that they have is a lot of liveries and they they add all the uh, all the player. Anybody that wants to can submit a livery and they'll put it in their package and that way we're all flying together. We all have similar livery packages so we can see each other's liveries. And it's really cool. You get, I mean, they've been having consistent 20 plus uh, people flying with them, and you know all the all the cool liveries and everything. It's really neat. All right, we're coming into Winter Haven's Gilbert Airport. Uh, currently eight miles out. Let's see. I'm guessing this is probably a. Uh, Traffic airport, a un, un uh, going to, uh, yeah, tune traffic. That that tells me that it's uh, it's, uh, tells me that it's an uncontrolled airport. Thank you. Why is it? Uh oh. Give me. There we go. I'm thinking that's going to be our runway, so let's get rid of that. See, we got a wind, so we're gonna want to land to the to the west, heading west. 
where the wind's coming from. I'm going to sneak this out of the airport till I actually see the runway. <laughs> is that it? That's not our runway. That is not our airport yet. Maybe that is. Okay, they have uh, our best runway is going to be runway 505, five, according to NAV map. So we're going to line up on 05 here in a minute. This point it should be way off to my right, like probably right through there. That's pretty cool, man. I, the, the scenery, people can say what they want, but that looks, compared to the older Sims, that's pretty dang amazing. The whole, you know, the weather, the lighting, the scenery, I mean, that looks pretty freaking good compared to what I remember. Dang. <laughs> that one made me jump a little. <laughs> okay, I think that was the airport just spawning in right there. And we do look to be about just right for that runway, if that's it. Pretty sure it is. Ugh, excuse me. Hay fever is acting up. Where's the runway? I'm, I'm still not seeing it exactly. Okay, there it is. I'm not, uh, I'm lining up with some kind of uh, taxiway, it would appear. <laughs> Now all of a sudden we got trailing winds. Ooh, I need to reevaluate. Yeah, this is the wrong, wrong runway at this point. I didn't notice the the winds had changed. I was reading it wrong. Yeah, I need to make a make a circuit here, we're going to do a left. I 
Hey, Nadal. Waiting for it. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm just just chilling out. I've been playing FSX or MFS primarily here lately, and and playing with this uh, Neo Fly mission program. It's pretty cool. That's a runway, isn't it? Yeah, there's a landing mark. <laughs> nice. I, I need to get back and, and play some other games. I've kind of been caught up in this one. Flight simming has always been a, you know, used to always be a passion, but I've, I've kind of, you know, moved away from it. Just, you know, had FSX and loved it. Played thousands of hours in FSX. Uh, but, uh, I get, get spun around here. I got to make a tight spin. Yeah, yeah, I know. There we go. Too tight. But, uh, I gave up. It just, you know, without spending a lot of money on extras, you really just, it got old. The graphics just weren't doing it anymore. Ooh. Come on, baby. Get over there. I don't think so, but all right, we still have it. God damn it, turn. Wow, I am like full rudder there. I don't think my windage is, is right here. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not getting the right winds. Something, something's wrong there. About killed myself. <laughs> Where, where is the parking? I gotta find parking here. Oh wow! Gonna join the Air Force? Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, and a lot of my family was military. I never did. I never went that route myself. But much to the chagrin of, of most of my family, I'm sure. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I need to go to a uh, actual parking spot. Yeah, because my uh, both, you know, my father, my grandfather, everybody was in the military, and I just, I just never, never wanted to do that. Let's just stop. See if I can get the mission to end. <laughs> as far as I know, I should be able to. Uh, I'm gonna get, uh, you can see it. Yeah, I just hit the parking brake. Cool. Now, normally I just shut off and go on, but I think I might uh, do one more here. Yeah. 
Ja, Air Wars is... Air Force is great. Uh, uh, I always have a, you know, a good, secure job. So, uh, KGI, yeah. So yeah, that that's nothing wrong with that choice. I guess I should start checking uh where do you oh, does that not work? I thought I, I adjusted the size of that at one time. Oh there we go. See I can almost get that thing, but I'm not sure what airframe O means. Because I noticed my airframe is going down, and I'm not sure what that means. Or going up? I don't know. Anyway, uh, what's am I doing here? All right, where am I up here? That ain't right. What the hell? Did I did I give it the wrong address here? That's where I'm at. KG, oh yeah, okay, we got KSIF, I didn't change the G apparently. Whoops. There we go. Uh, I don't like the drop zones. I mean, they might be fine, I just haven't done any. Let's uh, see what these are over here. Okay, ORL. This is one of the uh, touchdown with less than 200. We'll give it a shot, I might fail this one. If I land, if I land like that one. Uh, 232, 36 miles. Yeah, see the mileage. You don't get big ones, and I think the... Uh, I got one. No. I, I think it's because I'm, I'm in, you know, a lot of airports in these areas. Florida's full of airports just piled on top of each other. But yeah, that one goes north, so let's take it. Yeah. Uh -oh. Only have one <laughs> so far. Uh, hoping you get it. I, I don't see why you wouldn't. I don't think the uh, qualifications are very high anymore. Yeah, yeah, that might be it, but I don't, like I say, I'm not sure they're, you know, the qualifications are all that, all that difficult, I, I don't know, I couldn't say to be honest.
Okay, do we not have... For some reason I can't get... Uh... Okay. Shift P. I guess we don't have uh, the uh, service for that or whatever. I can't back up. Oh, right there it is. There we go. I wasn't focused on the right window, apparently. Where's a windsock? That's what I need. Run over a light. Right. Quit playing around. This is one of the glass. I should really change the weather. I would like terrible weather for this. Yeah, I'm pushing with 11 and 12 knot winds, and that's literally uh, max crosswind on this thing, I think. I may go as high as 15, I don't know. And that's with somebody that knows how to fly, huh? Yeah, we got some crosswinds here. I didn't set me a, a two yet. Dang it. I may be flying the wrong way. Pretty sure I went north somewhat. So let's, uh, uh, what are we looking for here? K O K Oscar Kilo Oscar Romeo Lima. That's it. at our 1,000. So let's see if we can get everything locked in here. Eh? Altitude. Dead altitude. Uh, it went to Still set at 1100. Let's go ahead and get nav going on here. I don't know if it's trying to get down to 1000 or if it's not caught my my altitude right yet. 
find out. Keeps dropping past 1,000, then we I'll have to reset my altitude thing. Altitude hold. Yeah, I need to go through and see if I see if I found the the aircraft I want to purchase. I still have this tracking thing on. Would be the next one would be the regular Cessna. The classic, I guess, would be the. I don't think I, oh, there it is. Cool. All I need is a bunch of money. Right, I don't need that anymore. Thirteen mile an hour quarter headwind. <laughs> Only a 30 mile trip. Yeah, be a little longer. Yeah, they, I like these missions just because of this. They're only 20 minutes flights or whatever. Trying to work my way straight through the U.S. into Canada. I want to get uh, I want to get out in the bush areas with smaller strips, but I want them to be spread out, so I'll get a little longer missions. It kind of worked in the Bahamas. I started out in the Bahamas, and heck, I think I had one mission that was 120. Yeah, longest one is 127 nautical miles. So that's But I think, you know, because they're airports, there's only a couple of missions. You also tend to get a lot more of the drop missions. That may be since the patch, anyway. I'm getting a lot of those, anyway. The drop missions are, are to uh, non-airport locations. You gotta have to land in a field or whatever so, so far from the drop point. Field or a road or whatever you can. I haven't actually done any of those. They were in water when I was in the Bahamas, so at the time I'm not sure they were doable, right? You can't land on the water. I guess I could have with the I guess I could have gone to the icon. But I was thinking I couldn't land. I was in the this this aircraft. And then when I got to the mainland here, it's been like this: been ten, fifteen knot winds all, all the time, and heck, I'm barely landing at the airports. <laughs> Should have like tons of fuel. Yeah, not even, not even touching it. I never have. Oh, that's why I haven't really 
I normally remove this uh, rear passenger so it doesn't show. The, the add-on that I'm using from the Bush League Legends guys adds an auxiliary tank. Theoretically, it replaces the passenger seat. So I usually go in and come out, come in out the passenger seat, but uh, they've been changing them so so often. I I keep forgetting. Let me uh, take a quick break while we're in flight here. Be right back. Champions Gate. This is uh, that community. Yeah, I love how I can fly. I, I can follow along on my VFR map and like see these intersections. This is State Highway 192 going, coming into uh, or Highway 4, major highway. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know this area. I'm just flying around. What the heck? Oh wow, they added some new feature to my uh, map. So yeah, ever since I hit the coastline, I've been flying I'm pretty cool, and it's nice, these clouds. I've been able to fly under them, other than one or two flights that got a little, got quite iffy. That was 
actually kind of fun. I mean, but a little bit scary trying to find an airport with low-lying fog and everything, but most of them's been like these, just nice and easy right under the clouds. I'm just glad they got the live weather fixed. <laughs> that was kind of a bummer. I, I was, I guess, the region or whatever, one of the regions that had the consistent three three knot winds forever and ever. Made you feel like a real pro, though. You know, heck, I I could. I could nail every landing. <laughs> they got real wet live weather, and I'm like, oh man. Now I actually have to learn to land the airplane. Oh, cool. Actually, this is uh, coming up. Let's see how far I am. I'm about 10 miles. I've actually been to the airport that we're coming up. Not that I remember it. Like I, It was a lifetime ago that we're coming up on. Should be on our left. Probably right in here. Pretty good size uh, Orlando executive. Uh, I flew flew into here as a kid and uh commercial flight and was picked up. Don't ask me why I flew into this one and they had to drive all the way from below Miami to pick me up. I think they were en route somewhere or something. I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh, I do remember my my uh, my dad had a had a business in this area somewhere, not not in Orlando, but up near here. And uh, wow, what is that tower? I wonder if that's that's pretty cool.
Orlando, we're flying over, obviously. Oh wait, no, we still haven't gotten to that airport. <laughs> Must have been further than I thought it would be. Okay, we're only eight miles from our destination. Oh wait, that's where we're landing, isn't it? Okay. Cool. Guess I should uh, uh wrong wrong zoom here. See what we have for uh, runways. I guess we will get to see this runway. I thought I was going by it, but that's actually a destination. Got a ways yet, but we're going to kind of veer off to the left, line up for a runway 25.07. That's the altitude. I'm above. And you, they they do the, I guess the I uh, VFR uh, range. If, if your flight plan says a thousand, then you're supposed to stay within a couple of hundred feet of a thousand. And I just went over the twelve mark, so I got a beep. really see the runway. I guess there it is right there. Isn't it? Yep. Like something's ahead of us landing. I don't have AI traffic, so no, that's got to be something else. It's the approach markers. I got light, I got glass, I gotta try and remember to land smoothly with 12 knots of headwind. Actually, it's straight on headwind, so that won't be a problem. I say that as it bumps me all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> may fail this one.
There you go, see, 800 mark. Huh? Again, I'm, I'm set at 1,000, so it's marking. It's beeping 200 knots feet up or down, or 200 feet up or down. You already told me that. I like 500. That's kind of what's messing me up. Maybe I don't need that high high view. Crates full of gr glass. <laughs> they should know better than give me breakables. Jeez. Ah, your car goes fine. I don't break it between here and there. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm going to get my chart over here and see where I need to go. Anywhere off. Oh, right here. I'm not, this isn't the uh, GA parking, but I don't care. <laughs> you no, know, maybe it is. I guess it is GA. Oh yeah, that's what I get for not having my, uh, barely had the ramp there to Zoom right. Hopefully we'll be far enough from the runway, right? There. Nice. I guess I, I had a 110. It even tells you your vertical speed. 110.46. Wasn't terrible, I guess. Yeah, where are we? Right here. Let's check your aircraft. Yeah, I'm 
figure out how to sell them. Aircraft available, does that mean there's none at this airport? Oh, I'm at, I'm at the wrong, I have the wrong one loaded, that's why it's not. I gotta search for this airport to look at the aircraft, I guess. When you do the mission search is when it, up. Oh, okay. Is when it creates that file. I don't know why it did that. Okay, there we go. Now we have some aircraft for sale. That one's almost, I could do some of those water, the, the drops in the water would be easy with that one. <laughs> but I'm no longer where I need that one. Oh, we got to scroll, let's see. There's the one I want. I, I should just keep waiting on that one. And I can do a little bit more. Uh, yeah. DV20 pits, which is useless. That one's cheap, but it's same thing I have basically. One fifty two is basically the same, but this thing actually has a better uh, cargo. So I mean, all the other small ones like this one that I can afford are. Are, are not really worth it. That's kind of why I use this one. It, it's got a good bit of cargo for its size. All right, well, I'm going to call that good. That was fun. Got me a couple of missions going. <laughs> I don't... Getting there, but I need more than one aircraft. And and now with this new version, you got to buy them, which is cool. And I, I reset this, because I guess you got to do, like, uh, some kind of test or flight or something. I'll try that. Alright, I'm gonna call that good. Let's get rid of that. And I appreciate everybody coming along. I had a great time. That was pretty fun. I, I am enjoying that little that program. It's actually pretty cool. I don't know why I used the automated shutdown, but there we go. Now we're all shut off. And I'm gonna chill out, do some stuff around the house, and get ready for our evening around the flight with the bush leagues. I do encourage anybody who you know, sees a video or whatever to check them out and. Uh, we do a lot of cool and fun uh, multiplayer in the evenings. Well, evenings for me. And uh, I don't necessarily stream that because they're, they're streaming it. So check their channel out and we'll talk to you soon. Take care and be careful out there.